Hey, look! We got a free spot! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, Mr. Gaming Counselor, Jeff, hit it. Welcome to the Counselor's Office. That's right, we're back into the Counselor's Office for more Pokemon Emerald Hardcore Unlock. Last episode, we got finally got our encounters. We got our first fire type. We got Tonic, the Nummel, and we also got our Koopa our Torkoal, so we do have a backup, which is fantastic. I am excited that we have a fairly decent team. The only Pokemon that I would consider swapping out is Goober and maybe Trash Can. Honestly, Karen might be the, the swap. I mean, Karen, uh, when it comes to power, Karen's kind of been a disappointment. So I would say, and Trash Can might be viable in the future. But it is what it is. We're going to do what we got. I caught a hot Pokemon in the fire path. We're going to try to make our way. I forgot what the town is. It's uh, suit, suit. It's like suit town or something about suit. Like, I, I honestly, I don't remember. Now, we do have another encounter coming up. There are two things that can happen. One, we get a spend up. Which is a little disappointing. I'll be honest, I kind of don't want to spend a I really really don't want to spend a but we could also Get a Skarmory a steel flying type which I'll be honest. I, I kind of oh wait. No, we can't get Skarmory. So it is spend a never mind We can't get Skarmory's gen 2. Haha -ha. jokes on me. It's only spend a It's only only spend a Splenda! I'm gonna call it Splenda. It says Splenda. His name is gonna be Splenda. I can already tell you what my Splenda's name is Splenda. Kind of sucks that it's the only Pokemon we can get. Maybe I think we might be able to get Nakata. It's, I don't know. I have to double check. But I know for sure you get Skarmory because that was always like the one of the rare spawns. And then Spindo is very plenda, plentiful. I'm trying to remember what else you can get. I know. We're getting the next next route. You can get Swab Blue, which would be kind of cool to be able to get a, dra a flying dragon type, which would be good to have in the back, having a dragon type on the team. Then we can also get. Don't poison me, please. Thank you. We can also get some Viper and Zagoon. Zangus. Sorry. Zagoon. Zangus. Uh, neither of those are like really that impressive, but I, I just I like the designs. I just like the 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 designs. I like what they throw they possess. Show me how much you toughen your Pokemon. I mean, they're tough. In fact, I may have to get to the point where I have to start skipping po trainers because 29 is going to be right around the corner, and we still have. I think we have a battle up top um, um, on the mountain. If I remember correctly, it's Team Magma we have to stop, which is, that's, that's a scary thought, thought. We're about to have like a big, a big boss fight. Now it doesn't count as like a, a one of our core challenges, so we can use our whole team, but it's still pretty scary. We have to be, have to be prepared for Team Magma. 
Welmer. Ooh, that's a whale of a time. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm sorry. I really need Mario to evolve. Because right now, Mario is also kind of a problem. Now, if I get low tag and Mario is still a disappointment, I will not lie. I will kill Mario. As much as I don't want to, I will kill it. It has been... Mario has been nothing but a disappointment. But having a dual type that can do deal with fire types and it can deal with like rock types and brown types and fire types like all those types that's too good to pass up so i got i really want mario to just like show me show me power baby what could you not i'm over here trying to get mario to level up and you're over here healing like just no. I remember when I first saw Wilmer, and I, I was like, oh, this is such a cool... Like, I was a kid back then, and I was like, this is such a cool design. Now, it's like, I don't think I've ever used Wilmer or Whale Lord outside of the Reggie, you know, the thing, which we'll do. I am going to catch those Pokemon specifically to do to do the thing uh will i actually like catch and use the reggie pokemon i have to remember to see but i think i might have allowed myself to do that i don't remember uh, 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 <coughs> mega drink is all right Dude, you it needs it needs this though that's the thing I'm getting rid of Bullet Seed. I know... It's, bullet Seed is just so bad. Like, five times? Think about it. Hitting for five, it does, like, 50. It's it's bad. At least having Headbutt does something. See? It did something. Mario is able to do something. I'm proud of you. Okay, I'm not proud of you. Leech Seed was probably going to be the next thing to go, but I just feel like Residual Life is such a good thing. Ow! Having, being able to put thing, stun things is great. Being able to get some residual healing is great. There's so much to learn from your style. Why does everyone want my number? Just, no. What? What's that? What am I doing? I'm thinking about making my own room here using a Pokemon move. I know. I'll give it this TM. Will you use it to make your own room? Sure. Obtain TM43. Oh, that's right. Secret bases. Find a big tree that looks like it might drop some vines. Use secret power in front of the tree. Some vines should get, fr get free and drop down so you can climb the tree. You'll find a lot of space for putting your favorite things. It'll be your own secret room. A secret base. You should make one too. Another thing. You don't always have to make your secret base in a tree. Try using a secret power on rock walls that have small indents in them. I'm going to look for other places too. Okay, bye. Yeah, I remember that. It was pretty cool. Secret bases were like a fun little thing. Nothing like overly like, wow. Oh dear, oh dear. Aren't your Pokemon exhausted? If you like, rest up here. That's a fine idea. You should do that. Sure, I will. Oh, dear, dear. Your Pokemon's still tired? No, no. I'm good. Thank you, Granny. I remember I would hit that over and over again, and she just wouldn't let me go. In search of Pokemon trainers. Gabby, hi. Today I'm visiting an area near Route 111. We're trying to spot coming some up-and-coming new talent in the field. Today we turn our lens on the trainer, Mr. GC. There's something about this trainer that piqued our interest. The best way to determine how strong a trainer is? Well, the fastest way is to battle. So we begin our investigation. That's how we end up in battle, Mr. GC. In a dominating performance, we are flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. Mr. GC is ruthlessly strong. Here's our impressions after having battled our featured trainer. The combination of Nomo and Mightyena was divine. The sight of them, Nomo and Mightyena selflessly supporting each other in the thick of battle. It was a marvelous sight to behold. Magnitude was the move the trainer used last in our battle. The move Magnitude is Nomo's and Mightyena's sign of friendship. Is it really? Is it really? It's... 
magnitude actually hit my Nina in the face. So, I mean, if it's a sign of the friendship, nothing says love like physical touch. And my Nina got a fat slap in the face. After our battle, we asked Mr. GC for a succinct summary. The trainer replied, Cloud9. Mr. GC and Pokemon, Nomo and my Nina, and Cloud9. Hmm, that's deep. There's a deep significance between that quote. It's no surprise a good trainer has good things to say. That's all for today. See you again in our next broadcast. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot I had my broadcasting sound effect. I'll have to do that next time. Dang it, I can't get up there. Wear plants every day. They gave me lots of berries. Here, you can have some too. We got a raspberry. It's a ras, wow. Well. That sucks. I should have got the mock bike. No! That sucks. That means I have to come back for that because I think there's trainers and items up there. And you know, Mr. Gaming Counselor has to get the loot. If there's anything about me, that's my motto is get that loot. Always, I'm always looting in every game. Even a game where I should be focusing on combat or something. I'm like, give me a minute. Loot. Always comes first. Oh, your Pokemon look like... Serious actors, I have to ask for an, an engagement. An engagement? I thought it was an engagement like you want to marry my Pokemon? Like, it's kind of weird. Don't marry my stuff. All right, Wingle. Water flying. We are disadvantaged because we have... We, if we had Rock Slide, that's different, but we don't. So, what do we have to deal with you? Absolutely nothing. I'm just going to go to Trash Can and just let Trash Can use Sludge. We really need something for flying types. It is such... We are going to be such a struggle bus with the flying gym. I Like, I'm actually really concerned about the flying gym. I'm not going to lie. Now, I do know we will be fine against their Skarmory. I remember Skarmory. I remember their dragon flying type. I forgot what it's called. Uh... <laughs> And look at me. We have a gym of the fire type gym coming up, and I'm already thinking beyond that. And that's because the only thing that's of concerning is possibly Torkoal with that high, I mean, high defense. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not, I'm not as concerned. Got Numble, which is fine. It's probably gonna use magnitude. I think I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. I, I'm gonna go to my normal. I'm gonna go into tonic. That worked out. Because like I said, I think it at 35 is when it evolves. So. I mean also Yeah, I'm not for sure. We'll find we'll find out. I could Google this stuff, but I'd just rather be pleasantly surprised, you know? Sometimes you just, you, you go with the wind. How about you know? Right. So we got our fire, water, grass core, which is fantastic. We need to get electric type on our team. Like, that's what I really need. Something has got to die before we get to the flying type. Gym. Just, that's the reality of it. It sucks. But that's how it's going to go. Something's going to die. I wish I could be friends with more strong Pokemon like you. Or tr Pokemon trainers like you. Whatever. Hey, whatever, Brooke. All right, Route 13. We've got an encounter here. It's fun walking through the volcano's ash on the grass. Yeah. All right, so we got... It is... Spinned up. Why... Why am I not surprised? Who 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 didn't who thought it was gonna be anything different? Raise your hand. Oh, not me. Uh yeah, yeah, Sarita. Alright, Splenda. I mean, it, it might be good. It, it may not be bad. Right? It could be good. Who knows? Maybe maybe Spinda will be good. I'm actually surprised Spinda has not gotten evolution. That's the part that I'm confused about. 
I would have thought that Spinda would have gotten an evolution by now. Like, I don't understand making one-off Pokemon. At least make a, a, a second evolution. All right, Spot Panda Pokemon. It's a panda? That's supposed to be a panda? It is distinguished, distinguished by a pattern of spots that is always different. It's unsteady. Ta tottering walk has the effect of fouling its foe's aim. That's a panda? You, you what? I don't know about you, but that looks nothing like a panda. Splenda. There we go. We got Splenda the Spinda. Juice. We found Ether. Now let's. We're gonna have a duel. A, is it gonna be a triple fight? That would have been crazy. If you can have an actual triple fight. Imagine a trip. A triple fight. Were you maybe in the middle of gathering volcanic ash? No, what? Thanks for fighting me, but we still have to battle. Oh, that's right. If you get if you get volcanic ash, you can use it and turn it into glass. I still don't know the how the process of that. That's beyond me. I'm going to go Magnitude, and then Karen is just going to go to Goober. I'm just going to play it safe. Like, Goober, Goober can be tank whatever. A five! I, I don't care about Ball Toy. Oh, no. I'm getting... Uh-oh. Okay, that's good. I was... All right, well, let's body this guy, shall, shall we? Because, yeah, I didn't realize they all have levitate. Mud slap, ew. Okay, let's just... All right. I'm just playing it smart. I don't, I don't want things dying. And yes, they're not that hard. We're a little over leveled, but I don't run a risk being surprised. Plus coughing knows explode, uh, self-destruct. It could just blow itself up for all I know. Thank you, Tonic. I, I just, I just. Oh my god, Tonic. Okay, everyone dies. Everyone dies. Almost. Oh my god. That's terrifying. Okay, Tonic, you've got to go. Like, now. And then, uh, Goober, use Gus. That's fine. Trash can can't survive that. I don't know what else. We have to be careful because this thing knows speed boost. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. No. Come on, Goober. You've taken worse. Come on, Goober. I'm not ready to get rid of you just yet. Let's go, Goober. Let's go, Goober. Da, 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 da. Let's go, Goober. Da, 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 da. Tonic, level 24. Let's go. Actually, I, I, can, I will consider using uh, Tonic because ground it's a ground type. So we have two ground types that can handle the fire gym. That's that's about it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. You, you want to battle with me even though I just caught my Pokemon? I no, I really didn't. You kind of chose to fight me, dude. Aaron, all right. Tonic is so low, right? Oh yeah, it's not even. It's not even a thought in my mind right now. 
Let's just go skipper. I know I don't want to lower level skipper because skipper's like almost to 29 and I don't want to level up, but I can't risk losing anything. That was a crit. Just get mud shot. This is times four weak against ground. It should be gone. Aeron and the, the Aeron to Agron line is such a cool Pokemon. Like, I wish it was more viable. But it's such a good design. Like, it really is such a good design. Like, it's one of my favorite, outside of Steelix, which is the OG. Like, I really like Agron. Agron is so cool. It's probably, like, the Dark Steel vibe. That's why I want it on my team so desperately. Was so upset that I I, I I don't have it. Super repel. I should probably pop a repel now. We got a nugget. That's cash money in the bank. Got money in the bank. I'll show you what I drink. I got money in the bank. I'll show you what I drink. I'm going to do that so we don't have to deal with... I am going to kind of beeline to the Poke Center because we're kind of hurting right now. I will gladly fight more. Ah, oh, tartar sauce. The volcano's eruption is proof that the earth is alive. Have you seen trees and grass? Are those not alive for you? <laughs> they, are they, are they are not. Are they not alive? Do they not wiggle? Do they not jiggle? That's Sudowoodo. But yes, Hoenn, I, I've got to say, I was talking about designs, but Hoenn has some of the best designs. The people like to trash other generations, and then they point to, like, Generation 1 and how goofy it was. Who cares about none of that? Generation 3 has some of the best designs. The Legendaries, iconic. The Mythicals, iconic. The Starters, iconic. The trade evolutions, they're cool looking. They may not be like the best, but they're still iconic because they look cool. Like they look hot. So yes, all iconic, 100%. We hope to see you again. Hey, who are you? Oh, hello, you are? Oh, okay, your name is Mr. GC. I can see you're a trainer, so that means you use the Pokemon Sword system I developed. How I arrived at that conclusion is a simple, deductive process. You're standing in front of the machine, so you you probably need to use it. You spoke to me because you wanted to exit. Yeah. Boop. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm Lynette. Honestly, I'm glad to meet you. It's great you're using the Sword system. If you could, please visit me at home. Um, wait. Wait, 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 you didn't invent the storage system. That was Bill, Lynette. Lynette's over here stealing Bill's homework. Bill, 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 science guy. The warmth here is making me drowsy. Battle with me so I can stay awake. With these wings, I can flick you away. We have to be careful. Because Meteor Falls has Psychic Rock types, which is cool. It sounds cool. But it also has Aegon, which is a dragon type. And I want it. As long as we get, when we get Waterfall, we're guaranteed Aegon. Aegon. And I am 100% putting that on the team. If we play our cards correctly, we're good. Like, we are, we are more than good we are balling okay so we got to make sure that we make it happen captain i want salamance on my team now i remember fondly having salamance i remember even as a kid i learned how to breed moves i remember having ha teaching oh that's terrifying i remember teaching sa my salamance like flame flower it, like it, it came with flame flower it learned hydro pump That was the cool part, right? A dragon using hydro pump and it wasn't even a water type. I remember that being like one of the most stokest moments. I was like, oh my God, it's so cool. 
it's still it's still pretty cool i'm gonna go lie it's pre still pretty cool all right knock the skarmory out thank you thank you but that kind of stuff is so cool about pokemon like granted i don't know how i learned to do that that is terrifying I am in danger. I'm in danger. Uh, I'm just gonna have to hope that these boys can. This is a pre fight. This is 100% of pre fight. Pure flying fight. Yikes. I'm just gonna have to go for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to play smart and safe. I'm gonna have to go yawn. Oh, no, I don't. It doesn't matter. Ha ha. Joke's on you. Get crit, sucker. Let's go, Karen. At least if this Lombre sticks around, we'll, we'll take care of it. Earthquake. Oh, no. Okay, oh, trash can's gone. Hey, look. We got a free spot. What are the chances that we run into a random trainer with a lumbre that knows secret power that just so happens to have the earthquake of its move? Or nature power, whatever. Like, what are the chances? I don't remember. Was it nature power or secret power? Pretty sure it was secret power or na nature power. Maybe it's nature power. I don't know. Either way, what are the chances that it all lined up perfectly for that to happen? What are the chances that that actually happens? Boy, oh boy. Well, we have a free slot. I'm just going to have to hold it. Until I get, I get surf. Pretty sure we should get surf after this fight. Just imagine if it was asleep, he would have, he would have been around. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like we're keeping Goober on the team just a little bit longer. I'll be back. Actually, I won't be back. We're right here. So. All right, trash can. Goodbye. Trash can is gone. I am curious, though, to see, like, well, what do we got move wise? Torkoal. Brave. It's actually bad. Physical attack is not what it needs. It needs special, but whatever. Splenda. Wow, it's almost like they should have traded. Wow. Wow. That's un that's unfortunate. Alright, moving on. <laughs> un for oh wait, I need to heal. Alright. Oh, you can get Slugma out here? I didn't even know you can get a Slugma. Oh, interesting. That is very interesting indeed. Very interesting. Let's talk to this guy. It's important. Kind of. This area is covered volcanic ash, Huff Huff. I'm specially gifted, Huff Huff. I can make glass out of volcanic ash and make items, Huff Huff. Go collect ash with this, Huff Huff. Suit sack. Just take the suit sack and walk through piles of ash, and it will fill up with volcanic ash. Once you think you've collected a good amount, come see me. Okay. I've got to buy more repels. Specifically because I don't want to get in a situation turbo load, where I have to catch something. I don't want to catch it. I am going to speed through these kiddos. Oh, it's double spinda.
You do have to be careful because uproar will hurt. There we go. Speed run! Yes. Why not? I'll never use Howl and Rourke. At least I can get things to swap. Speed run! We're, we're going to speed run because... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Whoop. That was actually disappointing. I didn't even know it can go as low as four. Focus energy. No, ew. Very nice. That's not what I wanted. Skarmory! Ah, there's Skarmory. I'm just gonna... I'm just blitzing through. I know there's other trainers, but we're actually getting to the point where some of our Pokemon might be too strong. So we're, we're just... We're not gonna backtrack as nearly as much. We're not gonna backtrack nearly as much. I'm gonna be honest. Ooh, nice. <gasps> Could we stop doing that? God, I hate coughing so much. Gotta hate you. You're so annoying, ninja boy. Double team. Ooh, that might actually be good. All right, heal my Pokemon. All right, there we go. We made some good time. Let's go check out the area. Have you already challenged Flannery, the gym leader? The girl's grandmother was famous. He is grandfather. He was one of the elite four in the Pokemon League at one point. It wouldn't surprise me to see Flannery become a great trainer and owner right. Oh. Okay, cool. I would like to buy some stuff. But let's buy some great balls. We got a lot of money. Oh, sweet. Lordy, Lou. Yeah, we got a lot of money. I'm going to buy a couple escape ropes. Those may be useful in the future. Super repels. We're going to need those. Antidotes. Buy a couple of those. I think this is the most I've ever actually spent, like, money to buy small things. Oh, yeah. We got to take Gulpin off. I just realized Gulpin is third. Nope. Third. Nope. Third. There it is. All right. Gulpin's off the screen now. Goodbye, Gulpin. So long, farewell, friend. Professor Cosmo went off to Meteor Falls on Route 14 with some people from Team Magma. Oh, that's right. We've got to go. We've got to go that way. I'm checking all my dots and T's. I'm the move tutor. I know all the po moves that Pokemon learn. Every one of them. I can teach Pokemon these those moves. I can teach them a, a po heart scale. You can farm that. We can you. We can really beef up our team. By farming heart skills toward the end, and then we can make sure we're set. That's my my thought process. We we are gonna make sure that we have a beefcake team. Barbroach. I don't know why I have tonic in the front. On honestly, tonic is getting a little too strong. So we need Mario. So who who is gonna go like? <laughs> I am not taking a grass type. Like that sounds like a bad idea. Uh, taking grass and a bug type sounds like a bad idea for a gym. Like I really was hoping to keep trash can because at least it would be okay against some of the fire type moves. Now I'm not, I don't have that option, which is very saddening to me. It's very saddening. Mario, you're so you you're so weak. I need you to be a strong boy. What do we got here? My big brother, the fossil man. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes too. He dug this hole by himself. You can have this so you can dig holes just like my big brother. Dig! Yay! We got dig! Make our way through. Try to get a little far. Who are you? All my Pokemon does is roar. No one dares come near me. Let me guess. It's roar. It's roar. It's roar. 
I already, unfortunately for you, already have it. I already have Roar, my friend. I landed a big one, a huge one, I tell you. Me? I'm not just a pretty face. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not saying you are nothing but a pretty face, but, like, you don't really have to try to prove that to me. I'm, I'm, I'm a girl in this game, right? All right, let's double team the barb roach. Nuzleaf really can't do nothing to me specifically. Mega drink. And then, uh, sure, we'll bite. We'll bite too. You water gunned my grass type. I thought the NPCs were a little smarter than that. Like, <laughs> okay. Okay. That is a move that you could do, and you definitely chose to do it. Okay. Sure. Alright, let's headbutt and then bite. He did use defense curl, which does suck, and that did nothing. Oh, he's dark type, but it flinched you, sucker. Oh, let's go, Karen. Coming in clutch with that strength, dude. I'm glad Karen has some actual beefy move to use now. Let's go, Karen. Get out of my swamp. Did mine lose in size? You, you know, sometimes bigger isn't. Oh, finally. Let's go. Finally, we've got something good going for us. Let's go. That's good news. I needed to see that. We finally got Breloom. Congratulations, Mario evolved to Breloom. Yes. Yes. Finally, we can do something. Okay, here's the hard part, though. Oh, uh, like headbutt. Like, here's the thing. If we're going to use a physical move, we might as but this also can flinch. That's another thing. It could flinch. I just leech eh, leech leech seed is nice, but the setup may take too long. At least stun spore, you immediately can get a pair of paralysis on a target. Because how many times have I actually just used leech seed? Not very much, right? Because most of the time I can fight what I'm fighting. All right, so we got high attack. All right. We've got ourselves Mario evolved. That's awesome. Anything here? Nope. And with that, I'm going to end the episode there. I thank you guys. I appreciate you. Next episode, we're probably going to make our way up to the mountain. And we're going to take on uh, Team Magma. That is definitely in our future. So I thank you guys. Hit that like button. Comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. And as always... Don't forget to game out.